At the end of this module on e Chala, the learners will be able to identify various types of audiovisual materials, explain the need and importance of different audiovisual materials, use different audio materials, visual materials and audiovisual materials. Audiovisual materials or AV materials are instructional devices, aids and materials which help in carrying out teaching learning process through use of audio, visual or both audio visual formats. AV materials include print and non-print media, projected and non-projected media and hardware and software needed for transmission of information and instruction. The AV materials may incorporate either the audio, visual or both audiovisual elements and they provide multisensory experiences to the learners. They may comprise of simple aids, devices and materials usually made by locally available resources or even comprise of sophisticated audiovisual devices which require electricity and complex machinery, electronic equipment for use such as the projectors, cameras, television sets, laptops, modems, etc. Every teaching learning process has certain objectives that have to be achieved. The teacher or the facilitator uses different types of teaching methods, techniques, materials and devices and strategies and weaves them into the lesson plan so that they facilitate the teaching learning process. Audiovisual materials are those instructional aids or devices or medias and materials which elicit attention of the learners, motivate them to be part of the learning process, sustain their interest, attention and motivation, help adult learners and students to be sensitized and aware, convey messages with clarity and effectivity, facilitate thinking and reasoning by concretizing reality and making it as simple as possible, streamline the teaching learning process, achieve the end goals desired by the teacher or the facilitator, they have a wide outreach, appeal to the senses of learners, quicken learning and help in grasping of concepts by the learners. Audiovisual materials are important tools used by teacher in effective transaction of the teaching process. Let's first define what are audiovisual material. According to the library glossary, it has been given in 1987, it defines audiovisual materials as non-book materials like tapes, slides, films which are renewed and recent to rather than read as books. This definition excludes books and all reading materials. Webster's Encyclopedia Unabridged Dictionary of English Language in 1994 defines audiovisual aids as training or educational materials directed at both the senses of hearing and the sense of sight, films, recordings, photographs, etc. used in the classroom instructions, library collections or the likes. According to S.P. Aluwalia, audiovisual materials reinforce the spoken and the written words with concrete images and rich perceptual experiences which are basis of learning. They reduce boredom of teaching in classes. Experts in the field have also given different definitions of audiovisual aids. Edgar Dale in 1946 asserted that audiovisual aids are termed as multisensory devices used to communicate ideas between person and groups in different teaching and training situations. James S. Kinder in 1959 defines audiovisual aids as any devices which can be used to make the learning experience more concrete, more realistic and more dynamic. According to Burton, Audiovisual aids are those sensory objects or images which initiate or stimulate and reinforce learning. Let us now examine the importance of audiovisual materials. 
audio visual materials provide multi sensory experiences to the adult learners since these experiences filter in through multiple sensory avenues or gateways the sense organs they filter in through are the eyes through eyes we see ears we hear nose we can smell tongue we taste and skin gives us the perception of touch they help provide visual oral olfactory gustatory and tactile experience and hence are also referred to as gateways of knowledge research done by kobun in 1968 indicates that we generally learn 1% through taste only 1.5% through touch 3.5% through smell 11% through hearing and 83% through our sight he further adds that we remember 10% of what we read 20% of what we hear 30% of what we see 50% of what we hear and see 70% of what we say and 90% of what we say and do the use of audiovisual materials opens avenues of use of multiple varieties of audio materials visual materials and audiovisual materials their use translates the most difficult hard to see and understand abstract concepts into concrete realities and experiences the abstractions are turned into concrete learning experiences helping learners acquire facts knowledge developing understanding and in depth application of the concepts let's see what is the need for audio visual materials with the advancement in science and technology the use of audio visual materials has increased rapidly a large number of av materials have been developed that are of an immense utility to both the teachers and facilitators and also the learners Although AV materials can never replace the teacher and facilitators but they definitely supplement their efforts and where required even help the students in self directed learning an analysis of needs for the use of AV material reveals the following AV materials help in eliciting attention and sustaining interest of the learners in the teaching learning process they make teaching learning process effective they make the learning situation or the classroom an attractive and interesting place they break the monotony set in in the process of teaching because of rampant use of verbalism lecture method is a very good example of verbalism they enrich the teaching learning process bringing in variety diversity and newness in the teaching learning process they arouse the interest and curiosity among the group of learners they keep learners driven and motivated to learn they make teaching learning more concrete they bring clarity in the learning of concepts help concretize facts and abstractions and facilitate conceptual learning their use facilitates understanding grasping of concepts and learning AV materials play an immense instructional role in the teaching learning process. They facilitate long-term memory. They help minimize the efforts of teachers and facilitators too in the process of teaching. Help teachers to bring innovative methods in their teaching and hence become more effective and efficient teachers. AV materials save time and energy of both the teachers as well as the learners. they can cater to the needs of diverse groups of learners by use of variety of methods in teaching learning process those who do not benefit from verbalism that is audio materials can learn from visuals that is pictures charts posters or even audio visual materials such as films clips educational videos and resources for example right now you are sitting in front of the ugc's e patchala they help in the achievement of learning objectives and goals av materials promote interaction and learning and they can help in spread of awareness and education on a mass scale broadly audio visual materials are of three types they are the first one is audio materials second the visual materials and the third one the audio visual materials let us first discuss audio materials 
audio materials are those which depend on a single sense that is they can only be heard they comprise of spoken words and are the most common and most rampantly used audio materials besides words they comprise of music sounds and sound effects which add to the beauty of the verbal expression they may emanate directly or use a device such as the radio tape recorder headphones hooked to an ipod or even a mobile lecturing is the most commonly used audio material by teachers and facilitators some teachers are very accomplished in the use of words use of words coupled with appropriate dramatic gestures further enhances their effectiveness as a teacher besides lecture other av materials comprise of audio clips recordings radio broadcasts telephone or mobiles audio materials are very useful in learning of language and recorded historical events audio clips or recordings can be played replayed along with discussion as desired let's look at all the audio materials one by one the first one that we will examine is radio radio uses radio waves to carry information from the source to the receiver or the audience radio is the most sought after medium of entertainment and education radio has maximum reach in india amongst all the available means of communication with 97% of india's population having access to radio educational radio for schools universities and farmers has led to the development of interactive radio instruction or the irri and it includes radio rural forums and even community radios although radio is one time and one way medium but it has high degree of immediacy realism and emotional impact radio is a cheap medium of information education and communication let's now look at recordings recordings overcome the drawbacks of radio facilitating two way communication the scheduling program faced in a radio broadcast are eliminated as they can be played and replayed as many times required recordings can be made according to the teaching goals and learning needs of the learners they can even be selected according to the learners needs recordings can be heard on tape recorders discs audio compatible discs or the cds the digital video discs the dvds audio clips available on the internet and also on the mobile phones now we will go on to examine the second type of av materials that is the visual materials seeing is believing and visual materials conform to this very maxim those materials which we see and understand by observing are visual materials they provide near to reality experiences out of the five senses it is the visual sense that is most helpful and effective in learning process visual materials arouse interest of learners provide a clear mental picture speed up understanding facilitate memorizing and provide a shared experience there are numerous visual materials available to a teacher which include pictures charts posters maps models drawings cartoons display boards amongst others we'll first look at pictures pictures are visual materials that help learners connect with new words to know the meaning and facilitate understanding and memorization pictures and images have played an important role as well as a useful resource in teaching and learning language words and images combined and presented appeal to audiences imagination and also add power to the spoken words the next visual material is poster posters are bold and symbolic representation of a single idea posters are mostly hung at a height and are made attractive so as to catch attention of the passer by and to hammer in messages they inform educate communicate messages and convey forcibly the desired information to the passer by
The primary use of posters can be seen in political campaigns besides propaganda and even protests. Big posters of huge proportions are called as hoardings. Let's look at charts now. Charts are a combination of pictorial, graphic, numerical or vertical materials which visually summarize a concept in a concise and clear manner. Charts depict complex processes. There are many charts like pictorial chart, tabular chart, pie charts, flow charts, tree charts, organization charts and even flip charts. This now brings us to flip charts. Flip charts are a type of chart containing a series of sheets that are tagged or spiral bound on the top with two sheets of thin wood or thick cardboard as front and back cover. The picture on the charts may be with or without words and as the teacher finishes presenting a point, she flips over the next sheet in front of the learners. Maps Maps help us know the location, direction, shape, size and distance of various locations on earth. It is an accurate representation of earth's surface that shows the details of boundaries and important location of the continents, countries, oceans, seas and rivers. Maps are an important visual material and are indispensable in teaching fundamental concepts such as size, distance, space, location and direction. The next visual material is globe. A globe is a three-dimensional representation of earth's surface on a very small scale. It is a round shaped wooden or plastic model of earth and provides information about areas, distances, directions, time, location and it uses symbols, colors to show boundaries, rivers, change in weather, seasons, day or night through using these colors and symbols. The next visual material is models. Models are also three-dimensional, scaled up or scaled down replicas or copies of the real objects. Models simplify reality and are helpful to create interest in creative activity among pupils. According to Edgar Dale, a model is a recognizable imitation of the real thing with an increase or decrease in size as the chief difference. Thus, they may be of the same size or they may be larger or even smaller than the actual thing which they represent. There are many types of models, scaled up or scaled down models, longitudinal or cross-sectional models, working or non-working or static models. The next visual material is cartoons. Cartoons are humorous caricatures which give messages subtly that evoke laughter. In a cartoon, the features of the objects and people are exaggerated along with generally recognized symbols. Display boards. This is the next visual material that we will delve into. Visual boards include a large variety of visual materials like the bulletin board, the flannel board, pegboard, magnetic board and the chalk or the blackboard. A display constitutes an organized visual arrangement on a given topic presented on a vertical or a horizontal surface. They are usually designed to present significant information. Different types of display boards are chalk or blackboards, bulletin boards, flannel boards, magnetic boards. Let's look at chalk boards. Blackboard is the oldest and the best friend of a teacher. A teacher cannot do without this visual material as words, diagrams, illustrations, concepts are all written and drawn so that learners can visualize and understand them. Blackboards may be on an easel or they can be of roller board variety. Uh, they may be graphic boards or magna boards or even white boards. The blackboard today has turned into a green or a blue chalkboard with a glass surface on top that has very low maintenance cost. The whiteboard and the marker has also replaced the conventional chalkboard or the blackboard. Let's see what are bulletin boards. Bulletin board is a board of softwood or cork that displays bulletins, 
pictures, announcements, news items, newspaper cuttings, illustrations, achievements which are intended for display. Flannel boards. Flannel board is a felt board or a wooden board covered with a flannel cloth or a felt paper on which different flashcards, flannelograms or flannel graphs can be placed. The next one is the magnetic boards. Display boards with magnetic strips are magnetic boards so that objects, exhibits with iron can be displayed. If tube lights are fixed at the back of the glass, the material will be visible even at night. Now we go to the third category that is the audiovisual materials. Let's see what are audiovisual materials. Audiovisual materials are those which can be heard and seen simultaneously. They integrate both sound and visual components. AV materials translate abstract concepts and ideas into more realistic formats. They allow instruction to move from verbal representation to a more concrete level. Businessdictionary.com defines audiovisual materials as non-paper, educational or promotional such as cassettes, CDs, DVDs, videotapes, etc. The use of most AV materials is however dependent on the equipment since they are not directly accessible without use of specific playback technology, for example, TV, films, videotapes, projected materials. Many of these formats today have become obsolete and some have even disappeared altogether. Some of our traditional practicing medias such as puppetry, folk theatres, song and drama are also part of this category. The audiovisual materials can be categorized as projected AV materials and the second category is non-projected AV materials. Projected AV materials include PowerPoint presentations, slides, film strips, films, transparencies and they are projected on a screen or even against whitewashed wall to give an enlarged image of the material. They can be used suitably for both large groups as well as small groups. The large, bright and colourful, larger than life images make them more effective than any non-projected aid. Non-projected AV materials Non-projected AV materials include traditional practising media as puppets, folk theatre, songs and dance and are not costly. They can hence be used with good results. They provide first-hand experience and also make the learners actively participate. They add an interest and involvement of the learner and ensure better results and longer retention. Let's examine the various AV materials one by one. The first one is television. Television means to see over a distance. Black box, idiot box, magic box. The television has acquired a number of acronyms. The power of television is immense. It's a broadcast medium and provides experiences that are both visual as well as auditory. So, it has an advantage over radio where the audience is only listening. Michael J. Apter says, Television is the most powerful medium of mass communication which has ever existed and it has revolutionized our lives in many ways. It can mesmerize its audiences and has an immense quality to hook up viewers across the limits of time and space. Its coverage is far and wide. Television can diffuse the requisite information, impart skills and even change attitudes due to its mesmerizing qualities, visual impact and mass appeal. Let's now look at the history of Indian television. Television entered India on 15 September 1959 as UNESCO sponsored pilot project with education as its sole aim. The regular telecast began on Independence Day in 1965. It was originally construed that television in India had an important role to play in education, health, nutrition, 
agriculture and family planning. It was much later that entertainment was included in its mandate. Doordarshan introduced color television during the 1982 Asian Games. Since its advent, a large number of educational TV programs have been running for schools, universities and farmers in India. Site, UGC school programs, the NIOS educational TV, IGNU countrywide classrooms and currently UGC e Patshala are the examples. While the developed countries are taking full advantage of television in education, there is a greater scope of its use in developing countries also. We will now have a look at films. Films are one of the most effective AV materials. Films showcase a story or event that has been recorded by camera as a series of moving images and shown in a cinema or on television create the illusion of moving images due to five phenomena or persistence of vision. Persistence of vision is created when exposed still photographs are viewed at a specified number of still frames per second to replicate motion. Films have the ability to capture movement in a photographic process. This was first developed in France in 1888. Films facilitate acquisition of new languages. They help learners gear towards self-directed learning. The larger than life production helps learner to see, imagine, analyze and criticize. Films help develop power of imagination and critical thinking. Films have the possibility to take the learners on a voyage of discovery of self and others, help map out uncharted terrains, discover people, cultures, civilizations, find out traditions of past and even imagine about distant future. PowerPoint or slide presentations. PowerPoint is useful for helping develop the slide based presentation. They are very popular instructional material comprising of series of slides using software the PowerPoint. PowerPoint has become an integral part of many teaching learning situations. The PowerPoint presentation can be projected using the LCD projector. When the PowerPoint presentation includes audio commentary, it is possible for the teacher or the facilitator to deliver the entire lecture electronically. Teachers have to be cautious while using PowerPoint presentation and keep their students interested and engaged. Discussions should flow freely and feedback taken continuously. PowerPoint or slide presentations have an immense use when information has to be shared, concepts transacted and skills developed. PowerPoint presentations help in focusing students attention and the visual impact of the slides enrich curriculum and also increase interactivity. The next AV material is dramatization. Acting out something is dramatization. It is a melodramatic reenactment of events. There are different types of dramatizations. The first one is role play. Role play involves taking on different roles and developing a deep understanding of life, situation and characters played in the process. These are done in classroom setting itself. Next is playlets. Playlets are short scripted plays of 10 to 15 minutes performed on the stage with full costume. Next is pantomime. Pantomime involves use of exaggerated mime gestures to the accompaniment of music. Opera. Opera is a musical theatre production incorporating both the singing and acting skills of the actors. Next is creative drama or stage plays and it includes stage shows and theatre productions undertaken frequently in schools and colleges to provide a platform to students for exhibiting their acting skills and talent. Tableau. Tableau require the actors or players only to pose different actions and neither to talk or act. Dramatization is a very potent method of teaching learning and keeps the learning situation lively and interesting. During drama productions, Students or learners actively participate both on stage as well as backstage participant. 
or they are even spectators watching the dramatized production. Either way, learning is first hand, participatory and permanent. Puppets A puppet is a doll dressed as a character and the performer, a person who manipulates the puppet in a desired fashion using strings, stick or even his hands. In India, tradition likens the god to a puppeteer and the entire universe to a puppet stage. The living beings are different performers on the puppet stage who perform their parts till a stipulated time. The god manipulates each object in the universe as a marionette. In India, the tradition of using puppets is believed to be as old as the man himself. According to the Center for Cultural Resources and Training, historians have found the earliest reference to the art of puppetry in the Tamil classic Silla Padikaram written around the 1st or the 2nd century BC. Different types of puppets are used for education and recreation. They are string puppet or marionettes or sutradharika, stick puppet, finger puppet, glove puppet and shadow puppets. Puppets powerfully integrate elements of storytelling, music and dance and the end product leads to mesmerizing production. Puppets effectively and powerfully drive home messages in the audiences. Puppets capture the attention of children and adults alike and hold an immense power of creating awareness about important social issues like women issues, education, dowry, etc. Let's sum up what we have learnt in this module on audiovisual materials and its different types. AV materials are instructional aids, devices and materials which provide multi-sensory experiences in the teaching learning process. They translate the most difficult, hard to see and understand abstract concepts into concrete realities and experience. They help in carrying out teaching learning process through the use of print and non-print media projected and non-projected media and use of hardware and software. AV materials developed elicit attention of the learners, motivate them to be part of the learning process and keep their attention sustained. AV materials are of three types broadly. The audio materials that can only be heard, visual materials that can be seen only and audiovisual materials that can be both seen as well as heard. Audiovisual materials may be used individually or in conjunction with each other depending on the end goals of the teaching learning process.